Uh, Bill Prentice, Don Newman, Jim Robb, who is a reporter, and I went on a tour of our community ministries, and it was a great day. Um, we started out at 9.15 in the morning and piled into Bill's van. God bless him for providing the transportation all day. And we started off at the Ottawa Pastoral Centre. They provide over 2,000 hours of counselling to a wide range of clients. The next place that we visited was um, Centre 454. And people were there to greet Don. And actually one of the people thought that Don was Peter Newman, who is the author. But Don set him straight on that pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. There was a volunteer apparently who went all over the city and went to all of the hotels and motels and collected um, soap, shampoo, conditioner, so just a huge collection of these products that the center was then able to hand out to people coming in from the streets, which is just wonderful. Mm -hmm. I, I think that he's no longer doing that, so if somebody else out there would be interested in doing that, that would be wonderful. And another um, a thing that a volunteer was doing was dividing laundry soap into little baggies so that there, was, there would be just enough for one load of laundry. And again, um, she's no longer doing this. And the next place that we went to was uh, the well. Again, you know, many people recognized Don, Don Newman, including the staff and the clients. Uh, one of the staff noticed that Don Newman had on his um, Order of Canada pin and she made sure that he also got a well pin to put onto his lapel. So he wore that proudly for the rest of the day. We went to, um, to the Cornerstone location on Booth Street, which is the new location, and it is, of course, just amazing. There was one client in particular who was really excited to meet him and actually joined us in our debriefings uh, session afterwards to share her thoughts with us, which was great. And actually, this same client, there's a little bit of a story about her, is that um, just the day before she moved into the uh, location at Booth Street, she actually slept outside in the parking lot to make sure that her, you know, that, that she would have a place there. Even though she was already on the list, she was just so determined that she would, would live there that she, she did this. Well, fortunately, it was warm out outside that day. We were referring to this as Dawn's journey with gift. Well, I think for all of us, it was our journey with gift. Thanks.